Guys, let me tell you a story about the Doom Tower in Raid Shadow Legends. A long time ago, the Arbiter fought a pack of nasty bad guys, but she wasn't strong enough to take them all out for good. Now that Seroth is leaking back into the world, the Doom Tower is failing, and it's up to us to clean up this mess. Raid has just released a giant new feature, Awakening, and a brutal new dungeon, the Iron Twins Fortress. You need to experience this for yourself. Just log in and play Raid for seven days, anywhere from now until October 27th, and you will add Ultimate Death Knight to your collection completely for free. But wait, there's more. New and existing players, use promo code DKRISES for a bunch of free items to instantly level your new strongest champion all the way to level 50, five star ascension. If you haven't played Raid, click my link in the description or scan my QR code, do it right here on the screen, and you'll get a unique set of bonuses. We're talking a free epic champion, Tyrell, 200k silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and one ancient shard. So you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Tied to Ivasa, guys. You've been thinking about him in the last couple weeks? Tied to have also wanted to win that fight. Of course, things are better if he wins that fight. And you'll always meet the jerk that goes, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. What, it was a terrible thing? Something bad happened. That was the best thing that ever happened to me because it was a wake-up call. Like, you hear guys that talk like this. It's a little bit annoying. However, when somebody else is observing and talking about a guy, sometimes it's just true. Tied to Evos is in a better spot now as it pertains to getting to a title. How do you get to that? Well, before I get to that, let's talk about what Alex Volkanovsky said. And Alex and Tui Vasa are close. I don't know if that's just because they're both from New Zealand or if they used to be in the same gym, gym together. But these guys have a relationship. And Volkanovsky was saying, look, people love to watch Tui Vasa fight. Tui Vasa needs one marquee win, and he's right back there in title picks. Now, that's the part I want to take apart. Because Volk's right. Volk's right. But guess what? Tui Wasa would not be being discussed for a title right now had he beaten Surreal. If you needed him, you need to move some tickets. Boom, that's the guy that got the most popular heavyweight fighter ever. And you've heard me say that before, but not like you heard me say before he's the most popular heavyweight fighter in the UFC right now. No, no, no. There's no heavyweight. Tui Wasa is the ever. There is nobody that can bring 15,000 people to their feet, taking shoes off, pouring a beer. They just can't do it. He just, he just can't do it. And he does it all over the world. Doesn't matter where he goes. This guy is massive. He's not very good. That's rude. That's going to bother him at some point that I say that. But I say it as a compliment. Because as well as he's doing, as well as he's competing with the best guys in the world, he still has potential. Not a lot of guys do. Surreal gone, just by example. Surreal is awesome. But he doesn't have a lot of potential to get better. He's there. Kind of needs to maintain. Kind of needs to hold it. Tui has still got room. He's getting better right in front of your eyes. But make sure you understand that. He would not have gotten a title fight if he would have beaten Surreal. Why? Because he's popular, but he's got a lot of room. You're not looking to get your most popular guy beat. Now, that may not be conscious. That might be subconscious. But you're not looking to get your biggest star beat. You're just not. And Tui Vasa has a lot of guys he can do real well with, right? I mean, Surreal's one of them. Tui Vasa could beat Surreal, but Surreal can also beat him. So he went and had the match. And Surreal, when you go do that fight, you go do that fight five times, you tell me that you don't believe Tui is going to win one of them? Of course you do. Of course you do. But he would have gone into another main event. He would have gone into another big fight. He would have been the attraction. He'd have ran out there and done the media and done the interviews. And they'll bring some cameras out to Abu Dhabi and film his training camp. It would have been rinse and repeat, but they would not have put him in a title fight. The whole point of building a contender and, and selling out and getting attraction with a contender is to keep him a contender until that's absolutely as full as it can go. Then you move him to the championship fight. Tui Voss is not done. He is not done bringing the world together. He is not done exciting people. And there's a lot more opponents he could have. I'm just sharing with you because I like, I like what Volkanovsky said. I like it because he's spot on. I just want to elaborate 
So you guys understand how right Volk is. Tui Basa is now, because of this loss, he is now one marquee win away from being in a title fight. That's true. Not guaranteed, and I'm not telling you his next fight's a number one contender's fight. I'm telling you Volk's statement that one marquee win puts him in the conversation. It's a very small conversation, but it will put him in that for a title fight. And if he would have beat Surreal, he would not be in that spot. He'd be in a big one. He'll stay the main event. Got to have everybody there to see him. All of that stuff true. Chael's going to be over here in the chair with the veins popped out, yelling at, telling you about this guy's potential, telling you what a star he is. Wouldn't be a title fight. So every now and then, right, I've seen people's success. Beat them. Ronda Rousey is I made my favorite example to give from this because it's a name that you guys know. But Ronda had plenty more to do in MMA. No doubt about it. Hey, you're a top 10 fighter. You've done great. You're number nine. Let's grab number seven. You're number nine. Let's get number 10 or 11. Let's get them in there. Let's do some fights. Let's sell a bunch of tickets. Let's have a bunch of fun. Let's bring the media. All these things that came with Ronda. The problem was she was so good. So she got paid very well. When you're paid as well as Ronda, you have to use her in a main event. If you're putting her in a main event, it's a pay-per-view. That's a title fight. That's just what it means. She could not fight for titles anymore. Who the hell can? I mean, most people go their whole career and never be in that position. Ronda could have done a lot more, but because of her position, because of her success, in some ways, I think you guys see my point, though. In some ways, you get so good, there's nothing else to do. That loss for Tui Avasa does bring him closer. He is now on a shorter path to a championship fight than had he beaten Surreal. And I think that's what Alex is talking about. That's how I interpreted it. Do you guys think I got it right? 